you not see any glue on your teeth or sticking out of it. <laughs> awesome. Fiona is making herself at home. Yes, she is. She's a sweet baby. <laughs> she got those chicken treats. <laughs> Her hairs. <laughs> I, I'm not going to leave them on the couch. You better not leave those out. There won't be any chicken treats left. Welcome back to This Box is Lit. I'm Delilah, and today we are opening up the May 2020 Hag Swag Mystery subscri subscription, bo subscription Box. Bear with me while I learn how to talk. Um, this is a subscription box for people who like witchy things. Um, so this would be uh, premium witchcraft supplies is what they say on their website, Hag Swag. Um, so I really like them. They're a Canadian company. Their box is um, roughly $70 Canadian. Um, you get seven to 10 items valued at at least $100. If you live in Canada, your shipping is free. And if you're anywhere outside of Canada, it's $9.99 Canadian, which is pretty good. So um, here we go, Hag Swag. The box shows up like this, so all your neighbors know that you're into witchy things. I'm fine with that because I'm pretty sure that my neighbor next door is into witchy things too, so we have this really nice witchy like orb between our two houses. It's pretty cool. All right. So, da da da. So for the May box, the theme is Sacred Flame. And they always have for you some stickers and you get a couple of cards sort of telling like <clears throat> what all is in the box. And I smell something that smells really yummy. So we have, oh, actually, this is gonna have some uh, description here for me. So this one is, do, do, do. Well, maybe I won't be able to find this one. So this is, this looks like a, oh, it's a decal. So that one you can put on a window, maybe of your car, or if you have a little witchy room, you could use that. We have something that is talking about the element collection. And so it gives you kind of a description of what all of the elements are. So I'm guessing this pertains to something in here. And then you always get a spell. So this is a page for you to add to your book of spells. Um, this one is, I always have a hard time reading these. Um, this is my, my eyes, I believe. So this is the, oh, it's a fire ceremony. So there are going to be things in this box to help you with your fire ceremony that they have given you for your book of spells. So that's pretty exciting. All right, so first of all, we'll see what fun things they gave us. So these, these are quite useful. These are um, charcoal burners and do, 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 do. You can put, these, um, this is what you burn, or I'm sorry, charcoal discs. Um, I misread something. So these are Swift Light charcoal discs. They're self-lighting and long-burning mini charcoal tablets. They can be used to burn resins, incense, powdered herbal blends, or dried herbs. Remove a tablet from the sealed roll and place it in your burner. Light the edge of the tablet with a match or taper. The tablet will then light across its surface. Place loose incense in the center of the lit disc. So I, I already have a bunch of these, but you can't have enough because you're, when you're doing witchy things, you're constantly burning incense and resin and herbs and all kinds of cool things. Um, all right. So I'm gonna have to open this up to, so you can see a little bit better. But this is a Alana Whelan 
Fire Nurture Light. It says, fire represents abundance through confidence, inspiration, and creativity, and it is the element that harnesses transformation. This set contains a fire element nurture light, tiger's eye stone, and guided meditation. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So I'll just open it up so you can get a better look at the whole little set together. So, so there is, it looks like there's the guided meditation there and the candle has a little bit of um, shimmer on that. So that's kind of pretty. And then you get, you get a little tiger's eye. And so it appears that you would use all of these together. Um, and it might actually be part of the spell. I'm not sure. A lot of times um, everything in the box will go with the spell, but sometimes they don't all. All right. So now we have Damiana. That is an herb that I have not actually used before. So it's kind of looks like catnip, parsley, or a kind of a, a bag of trim. So that is Damiana is a useful tea or smoke before ritual, especially where an altered state of consciousness is involved and aids with meditation and divination. What did you send me, Hag Swag? Are we about to get extra lit? Sorry, anyway, it is also a good addition to ritual incense. It is also wonderfully helpful in igniting your own Shakti and inner flame. I'm gonna have to research this later. See what it actually does. Damiana. It probably goes with the spell that they sent me. Ooh. So this is, doo -doo, I'm looking for it on here. This is Warrior Apothecary Phoenix Incense. Rise from the ashes of your former self with this fiery blend of self-love allies. A transformational infusion of wildcrafted mugwort, birch bark, pine, cinnamon, jasmine, chaga, rose, wormwood, and other fire elemental botanicals used to cleanse, encourage growth, ignite one's inner fire, and bring clarity to the heart and mind. It smells really nice. Like this whole box smells good. They sent me some pretty lovely smelling things. Ooh, that's exciting. So this is the Hag Swag Sacred Flame Cleansing Soak. Your sacred flame is your inner Shakti, your divine power. Use this soak. That's what the soak looks like. Use this soak to reignite your inner flame and release what is no longer serving you. Use in conjunction with candle meditation or cleansing ritual work. Use them with a mus muslin or organza bag to contain herbs. So they're basically like, don't put the herbs down the drain, and clog your drain. I always end up going back with like a, you know, a colander. Not the most efficient way to do it. Fire perfume oil. And is it on here? Here it is, Hagswag Fire Element Perfume Oil. First of five elemental inspired perfumes, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius share this element. Fire signs have pride, passion, courage, creativity, and impulse. This fire inspired perfume oil features citrus and spices. Apply to your pulse points and reapply as needed as a perfume or to work with the element of fire in ritual. And so I'll just pop this little box open so we can get a better look. And with these, sometimes you have to give them a little shake to sort of activate the smell. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. It's very citrusy. So that is a good one. It's going to be a good, like a, a nice fresh summer fragrance. That's, that's good. I like that. 
Okay, so this, I think I'm going to have to open this up to see exactly what this is. That's what I love about these mystery boxes. There are some things like I, oh, there we go. I wouldn't think to get for myself, like these colorful candles. I wouldn't think to go into a store and buy these for myself, but they sent me them. So that's really good. So these are, mm -mm. can you see if they say anything about the candles? Oh, it's part of a set with a holder. So let's see if I can find the, the holder. Oh. Sorry, Fiona. Oh, there we go. There's the holder. So you can put your candles in there. Oh, that's cute. So it says, use these candles with your fire rituals and more. Comes with a ceramic holder. Additionally, orange candle rituals can be used for career matters where creativity or dealing with people's needs are central. And red is said to put one in touch with the power of the flesh. Red represents temporal pleasures. It symbolizes passion and love as well as scorn and courage to stand up to one's enemies. So you get your three candles and your holder for that. And there's a box within the box. It's kind of plain. So we'll see, Let's see what this is. I'm excited. So they gave us It's a charcoal burner. So this, you put one of these in there and then you can burn your herbs or incense or whatever that you have going on. So it's a three inch metal bowl with a wooden coaster for heat distribution. Use this dish for your charcoal discs and burning loose incense. That's pretty handy. I've been using a heat proof souffle dish I have it sitting on top of a, um, a pot holder. It says, check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what my witchcraft is like. Anyway. Oh, and this is adorable. That's really cute. That is the incense tongs and spoon. A must-have in the spiritual supplies toolkit. These incense burning tools help in ease of use for the resin and powdered incense supplies. The tong is used to hold the incense charcoal while lighting it, preventing the user from any harm. And the nifty little spoon is a perfect size for scooping out the powder or herbs. That actually is quite handy because you don't want to burn yourself. Like when you're doing witchy things, you find you're playing with fire a lot. And so it's very important to make sure that you're safe at all times. So it's a tiny little spoon. The, I'm not sure if you can see the decorative handle. Try to hold it still for you, but that's really pretty. And then just some nice, simple little silver tongs. So very cute. And then the last thing, I almost missed it because it was all in the corner there. They sent me, because they always send some sort of a gem. Oh, I was looking for the little thing about it. But this is a, it's a red Jasper heart. So, doo, doo, doo. let's see if it says anything about that. Crystals that have been shaped into heart increase loving energy in addition to the other characteristics of the type of crystal. Place a heart as the center of a crystal grid to include loving energy with your intention. 
And I should have something here that tells me a little bit about the, ja ah, there it is, about Jasper. Um, so Jasper, it says, some Native American cultures consider red Jasper to symbolize the blood of the earth. And this tumbled stone is full of grounding earth energy. Red Jasper can connect one more to the vibrations of natural events. You can use Jasper to further your knowledge of the connection between humans and nature. Using Jasper can bring helpful insights to view into view that can help one to progress toward set a progress toward set goals or understand why a change may be necessary. And this is of the fire element, of course, because this is all fire themed. Um, so yeah, this one was really nice. I like the new incense holder and the candle holder. And um, I do like that I have these nifty colorful candles here um, because I only have white candles right now. And I'm always happy to get gems. So Jasper, good to have. I already have like a rough one right now. So it's nice to get a like a clean, shiny, polished one. Um, incense, my herbs my perfume, charcoal discs, and the little holder for them, as well as the little spoon and tong set, my bath soak, and the little, I put it back in here, just the, that was the candle with the tiger's eye, if you guys remember that. Um, so there was quite a bit in here. This is definitely um, worth the, um, the money that I paid for it. And I'm really excited to use it all and put everything together in the spell, the fire ceremony spell that they sent to me. Um, so what do you guys think? Do you like the hag swag box? Is there another witchy box that you recommend to me that I try? Um, be sure to leave a comment below and like and subscribe. Thank you so much.